Uh, hey everyone, it's Mr. Pearson, and back with a word problem for us to solve and work through together. So let's read the question. We'll read through it twice, and I'll give you an opportunity to solve the problem, and then we'll come back and walk through it together. So this problem says, Mr. Pearson's third grade class is collecting boxes of cereal. Their goal is to collect 400 boxes. If they have already collected 189 boxes, how many more boxes does Mr. Pearson's class need to collect? Okay, let's read that again. Mr. Pearson's third grade class is collecting boxes of cereal. Their goal is to collect 400 boxes. If they have already collected 189 boxes, how many more boxes does Mr. Pearson's class need to collect? All right, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil, write out your problem, and pause the video while you do that. Then after you've gotten your answer, come back here and we'll walk through the problem together to see if your answer matches the answer that I get. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. We'll see you in a bit. All right, hopefully you've had an opportunity to solve that problem. And so let's go ahead and walk through this. We're going to uh, follow the steps that we do. The first thing we want to do is we want to circle the important numbers. So as I read through here, I see that uh, they have a goal to collect 400 boxes of cereal. So let's go ahead and we're going to draw, draw a circle around. 400 boxes okay and then it says here if they have already collected 189 boxes that seems like an important number to know so let's circle that one as well so we've circled 400 and we have circled 189 now the next thing we need to do is underline our question so the question is how many more boxes does mr pearson's class need to collect so that's what we're trying to solve here is how many more boxes okay now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, under or I'm gonna draw a box around some important phrases here and I see the phrase here how many more so I'm gonna draw a box around how many more and then I see this word down here need to collect okay so now I'm gonna think well we're trying to get to 400 and we already have 189 so I've got to figure out what other number we are missing and so that tells me that this is going to be a subtraction problem so what I want to do is I want to set up my subtraction problem I'm gonna put the 400 because whenever you're subtracting your larger number always goes on the top so we'll put 400 minus 189 189 is the number that we know. We know that's how many they already have. So we're trying to figure out how many more boxes do they need. So uh, in looking at this, I can start in the ones place. I see that we have a zero, take away nine. I can't do that. And in the tens place, well, we have another zero. So uh, there are several ways we can solve this, but this is the way that I solve it. I'm going to take and I'm going to turn the four and the zero into tens. So instead of just having zero groups of 10, by boxing this, I now have 40 groups of 10. And so I'm going to take one of those groups of 10 from the 40, which is going to make this 39 groups. Give that 10 to the zero here, which is going to make that 10. And now I can subtract. If I have 10 and I uh, subtract 9, that's going to give me 1 in the 1's place. In the 10's place, I have 9 groups. And then I take away eight groups, so that gives me one as well. And then uh, in the hundreds place, I have three take away one, which is going to give me two. So that gives me a difference of 211. Another way we could uh, solve this problem is, let me write it again very quickly up here, minus one, 400 minus 189 
uh, we're going to cross out the 4, make that a 3. Give a group to the 0 in the tens place, which becomes 10. Cross that out, take a group away, and that becomes a 9. And the 0 in the ones place becomes a 10. And then when we subtract, we end up with the same answer. Sorry, my scratch area is a little convoluted. And then, of course, if you remember, the last thing we want to do is we're going to label our answer. So our difference that we found was 200. 11 and we're going to write 211 boxes we could write boxes of cereal because that's what they were collecting all right there you go that's another uh, story problem i hope that you were able to solve it i hope that you came up with the same answer that i did and i look forward to working through another problem with you next time mm -hmm.